Support for this episode is provided by Technar Apex, maker of the Zero-G hose, the hose that takes the work out of yard work. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm John Peters. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that this is the project that I'm working on. It's a small bookcase. The legs are quarter song white oak. The rest of the cabinet will be painted white. And for the back, I'm using beadboard. And I posted a poll on an Instagram story yesterday as to whether or not I should devote a full video on just how to make the beadboard using a hand plane, a table saw, and half inch MDF. And 91% of my Instagram followers said yes. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've already cut the half inch MDF to width. It's actually a half of an inch heavy. I need a piece that measures 30 and a half, and I've cut this at 31. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mark the center at 15 and a half. I want the space between the beads to be three and a half inches, so I'll cut a piece of scrap wood at three and a half inches and use that as a guide. I've made a mark on the center of the scrap wood and I'll hold the scrap wood at the mark on the center of the half inch MDF and trace a line on either side or on both sides. The kerf of the table saw blade I'm using is an eighth of an inch. I want the bead to be a quarter of an inch and then I'll add another eighth of an inch for the kerf of the saw blade again. So it's a half of an inch. Next, I'll hold the scrap wood jig at the line and trace it again. Then I'll measure over a half of an inch, make a mark, and trace it again. I just realized I need to transfer these marks to this side of the line because this side will be down and I want to move the fence in towards the blade after cutting each saw kerf. Next I'll use a small square to transfer the lines to the edge. I set the height of the saw blade at just a little more than an eighth of an inch and I'll test it out on a scrap piece first. And that looks pretty good. I've adjusted the fence so the kerf will be at the line. I'll run the piece through, then spin it around and run it through again. Next, I'll adjust the fence in and align the blade with the mark on the edge. And that looks pretty good, so again, I'll make one pass on each side. Next, I'll use a small hand plane to add a chamfer to the outside edge and round over the bead. Then I'll use a piece of 80 grit sandpaper to tune the bead up a little. Now I can trim the back to fit the cabinet.
Well, that didn't take too long, and I think if I wasn't filming, I could have made this piece of beadboard in maybe 15 or 20 minutes tops, which is a lot less time than it would take to run out to the home store or the lumber yard. And plus, this is half inch, which is what I wanted to use. And half inch most likely would be a special order. So it's a great solution for small projects. I wouldn't suggest making full sheets of beadboard this way, but for a small project like this, I think it works out great. This project, the bookcase should be finished in about a week or so. It's gonna be a fun project to build and I'll have free plans on my website. I think it's gonna look really sharp when it's done with the quarter sawn white oak legs. The cabinet will be painted white. The top will be natural quarter sawn white oak. And then I'll be adding a small piece of quarter sawn white oak bead molding to the bottom to kind of tie it all together. So I think it's gonna look really, really nice. If you're not following me on Instagram, I hope you'll check me out over there. It's a great way to sort of keep on top of where I am in a project and sort of follow the progress. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit that notification bell and that will let you know each time I post a new video. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.